Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. Today is a wet and miserable Sunday. I would be out doing other things, but I can't really do anything outside. You can probably hear the rain on the farm office as we talk. But I thought in absence of being able to do anything else, we'd have a good old chat about kazoo again. Everyone seems to love a bit of kazoo content. And got some really interesting news actually. A lot of you may already know that they've basically called in the administrators um, and yeah, because they're going under. They can't secure the funding that they need, which is well into the billions now. Well, well into a, over a billion, I believe. They already had a 550 million pound deficit and they needed about 700 of a million to carry on. We all knew this wasn't really going to pan out. I've been saying this for quite a while in videos, but um, yeah, it's, it's coming to fruition now. So they've got the administrators in and uh, they're being delisted from the New York Stock Exchange as well. So it's not going very well for them. Um, while the administrators come in, basically they're going to start trying to figure out how they can possibly get the most money back for the investors, the people who've already invested. The administrators come in and they're working on behalf of the people who are shareholders basically to sell off assets, try and sell the company in its whole. However, they think they're going to get the most money back for the investors, probably while taking a very hefty fee as well. But interestingly, there's been some news out of G3 auctions. Considering I was there last week, coincidentally, they announced some news just a couple of days after I was there. G3 Vehicle Remarketing have bought Kazoo's wholesale arm, including their Bedford kind of vehicle processing site. So there was multiple parts to Kazoo. There was the retail side, there was the wholesale side, which is what G3 were interested in because they had this large site in Bedford, 14 acres and uh, that's where they did all their part exchanges and they would sell those on and offer them on to um, dealers etc but g3 spotted this while the administrators were coming in and they've swooped in they've made plans already and they're going to open up a whole new auction site in bedford so knowing what the existing g3 site is like in castle it's an ultra modern really nice kind of airy breezy place to be they're planning on doing exactly the same in bedford they're going to double their capacity so this is a massive expansion for g3 and it's just that much closer for me which is great because i will enjoy going there and seeing it but it's also great news i think for the car trade in general after having kazoo who swooped in and said you know you're all analog and you're all old school and you don't know what you're doing and we're going to come in and show you how it's done Everything's online. No one wants, you know, physical auctions. No one wants to go to a physical dealership. They all want to do everything online. Well, it didn't pan out for them. And now rising from the ashes of their failure is not only car dealers who I think need to be applauded for the fact that they are so adaptable and they can evolve uh, to everything that Kazoo was able to offer with the kind of purchasing online, reserving online, um, you know, delivery at a distance. Kazoo came in and said, well, car dealers can't do this, and that's why they're in the past. And every single one pretty much has stepped up and said, well, actually, we can do. And on top of that, G3 have swept in and said, you know, car dealers do still want physical auctions, and we're going to open up another one. This all looks like it could happen quite quickly, and I think they're going to be running auctions within, you know, weeks, if not months. But either way, this year, we are going to be seeing auctions happening. It's obviously a massive step for G3, and I, for one, can't wait to see it. In fact, I have got an article here which might put it a bit more uh, clearly than I can. So we've got Car Dealer Magazine once again, always got their finger on the pulse of what's happening in the car trade. G3 reveals plans for failed Kazoo's Bedford site after swooping in for purchase. Remarketing firm G3 tells of expansion plans. It follows acquisition of Kazoo's wholesale arm. Bedford site is to focus on EV auctions. With the addition of G3 Bedford, this facility will provide us with the capacity to offer over 80,000 vehicles per annum to dealerships of all shapes and sizes to source stock from. We feel this will make G3 Group the go-to truly independent remarketing provider in the UK. Exciting times, and especially as G3 are kind of so open to having uh, us, you know, kind of YouTubers, myself, come in and, you know, film, get content there. Um, It'd be great to see what happens with the new site as well. So I'm looking forward to that. So for once, I can report some kind of really good news on the whole Kazoo saga. Um, I did feel like they were bad news for the industry on the whole. Um, obviously, a lot of people have said that I'm really bitter and I'm a small car dealer and all that sort of stuff. Obviously, we're just completely different types of businesses. We're poles apart. So uh, I was never any kind of competition to them or vice versa. I just, it, the whole thing 
just stank. It just didn't seem like it was going to work. So it's great that while they've kind of swept in with their bravado and bluster and, you know, spending other people's money, uh, that something as good is going to come from it. And I hope this will be a chain event of other great things and a lot of the jobs that Kazoo currently provides can be saved. And yeah, I can't wait to get to uh, G3 Bedford to find out what it's going to be like. That is it, a very quick video. I mean, this will be a bonus video on a day that we don't normally do. And we've actually got a bumper week of content coming out, um, including the video where we're at G3 auctions and buying some interesting stocks. That's definitely one to look out for, as well as others. We've got another valeting video we're going to squeeze in on an extra day this week. Uh, some interesting auction buys as well. So make sure you subscribe. Not only is there loads of content coming, but if you are one of our subscribers, when we hit 75,000 subscribers, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away a 2,000 pound tag away watch. Uh, it's completely free to do so, and you could be in the chance of winning a very nice watch. Like the video, it really helped me out. And don't forget to check out feelgoodcompetitions.com, uh, my raffle website where I've added some new cars, I've added new watches as well, things like that. And you can use the code TOBY10, that's not me, that's Toby the editor, uh, where you can get 10% off as well. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.